Jerome Bettis just uh, sat down. Poll question, McLovin. Give me the uh, updated results, please. Who do you got for Super Bowl MVP? The two quarterbacks are the field. Damn, we have a 50-50 situation. Wow. Quarterbacks have won it 25 times. And then every other position combined 21 times. Let me ask Jerome Bettis. I'll give you the two quarterbacks or everybody else in the Super Bowl for MVP. Who you got? Give me everybody else. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, if you were going to pick out somebody. If I was going to pick out somebody and if I had to put my money on it, yeah. I, I would uh, I would probably put my money on Flacco. Well, no, that's the quarterbacks then. you got right. Flacco and Kaepernick or you have everybody else. Right. Okay, uh, if, if, if I had a choice, yeah. right? And if I had to go with everybody else, yeah. I would probably go with, uh, oh, that's a good one. I mean. Well, let's say the got, Niners. You, Niners win. Who I would, would probably get go with Bowman. Bowman. Really? I'd probably go with Bowman. Wow. He's going to have to have a great game for them to win. So, I would But will he get credit for, for the win would be the key. Well, I, I think he will. Because, You're asking the writers to notice who well, is. Well, well, I think he has a, he has a, a, a good possibility of getting an interception, all this kind of thing. So his numbers could, could be interception, sack. He could, he could, he could uh, make his presence felt. All right. What about if the Ravens win, aside from Flacco being MVP? Peter. Yeah, the tight end? Yeah. yeah. He's going to get a lot of work. So. He's good. Yeah, he's good. He's good. Well, it's going to be Patrick Willis against him, I think, is the matchup. Yeah, I, I, I think they, they like to, they like Bowman and oh, they, know, they the, the, cover, oh. the cover guys. He's, oh. a, he, they, he's, a good, he's a good cover guy. I, I think I, I, don't, I don't know if Willis is, can cover as well as Bowman can. The, uh, did you hit Ray Lewis harder than he hit you? Is that... <laughs> We had like you had we, some collisions. We had some serious collisions, yeah. And at the time, Ray was smaller than me, uh, so so I was I was trying to. He's still smaller than you. <laughs> <laughs> he is. All right, DP. Yeah, come on. Be, careful. <laughs> be careful. Be careful. Well, no, no, I didn't mean that. Like you know. You're, you're... Yes, you did. Okay, maybe yes, I did. did. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. What I do know is you did mean that. Yeah, I did. Yes. Maybe I did. Maybe, maybe, maybe I did. But did do you think you hurt him? Uh, I didn't hurt him, no, but uh, he didn't hurt me either. You know what I'm saying? We hurt each other's pride. <laughs> did, did, well, sometimes that can hurt even more. Yeah, don't question it. Don't question it. <laughs> because when, when we won, it was usually, you know, I was, I was able to outduel him. And when they beat us, usually he was able to outduel me. And so we won. I had good yardage. If we lost, then I didn't have that much uh, running room. Conversation during the game? Oh, it was um, – uh, Pretty enlightening, really, to say these. But but me and Ray, we would always go, you know, chatter back and forth, you know, kind of above board. It's the other guys that, that try to get in uh, and try to chirp. But was there ever a guy who did who wasn't worthy of chirping as much as he did? Yeah, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> all of them. None well, no, of there, has be, there has to be. That was worthy. Like Hall of Famers, though. Like if you're a Hall of Fame quality player, you can you can chirp. Absolutely. Yeah. Right. But, and you, but there and had then, to be that guy who talks a lot, and then the others back. You know, have his back. Yeah, I mean. You got the, names? Oh uh, man, um, Tennessee Titans. Um, what is his name? Oh, the defensive back? Linebacker. No, oh, linebacker, linebacker for Tennessee Titans. Bullock? Um, Keith Bullock? No, Keith, me and Keith, we had a good relationship. It was uh, Robinson, I think it was. Yeah. Uh, and he was just a chirper. I mean, and, he, and then he would always talk. I'll, I'll never forget the line. He was like, yeah, you know, it, it was something about an article that come out, you know, this is years ago, about the Hall of Fame and, yeah. and was I – you know, Hall of Fame material and that kind of thing, and so he brought it to the field. You know, he was he like, brought, "Wait, he brought the article? He brought he, he brought the conversation oh, to the okay. field? Like, yeah, you ain't no Hall of Fame and da da da, right?" So he was like, "Yeah, you ain't going into the Hall of Fame." I said, "Well, I know one thing: you going into the Hall of Shame <laughs> because I'm about to punish you." So I punished him that I punished him that day and put Eddie, him in the Hall Eddie of Shame. Robinson. Eddie Robinson. Yeah. Eddie Robinson. If Eddie's listening right now, what would he you was say a to talker. Eddie? He was a talker. Well, you're going to go into the Hall of Fame. And I'm, I'm going to say, how you like me now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have any idea, the voting? No, I don't. I don't. No feel. No feel. And, and the key is I, I'm, I'm numb on purpose because, you know, the first year is always the hardest. The first year you don't know how the process goes. So you say to yourself, okay, okay, yeah. And you get excited and you, like, wound up. And then, you don't, you don't, it doesn't happen for you. And it's not – 
a slight against you. I mean, it's just some other great players on the list, and they deserve to get in at that particular time. And so you understand it. And so the next time around, you understand how the process goes a little better in the next time. So this being my third time, I understand how the process goes, so I'm not getting too uh, too excited. He's Jerome Bettis, the former Notre Dame Pittsburgh Steeler running back, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. Speaking of Notre Dame, been in the news there lately, Notre Dame has. Yes, they yeah. have. Yeah. Um, what is Manti Teo in for when he goes to the NFL? Oh, I mean, he's going to get it. I mean, guys are going to jab at him. Uh, no, no, no question about it. Well, teammates, it. teammates the and. Te the teammates are going to jab, jab at him playfully. Okay, and they'll do it with smiles, but you know, what I'm saying they, they're gonna they're gonna thicken his skin uh, before he gets to uh, the field because when he gets on the field, oh, man. it's gonna be. Uh, will Will somebody impersonate a woman on the other <laughs> side of the line of scrimmage? Do you think? I don't think I don't think they're gonna impersonate a woman, but with the voice, you don't think somebody will be hear, He'll hear uh, all about um, you know his 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 boyfriend, all kind of stuff. He gonna he gonna get a lot. <laughs> He's gonna get a lot. He's gonna get a lot of stuff. But I, I think I think he'll be by then he'll be hardened enough where he can deal with it. Tell me what Tony Gonzalez is thinking because you went through this, but you guys won a Super Bowl in that final year. He came close, but like, does he walk away exact, as great as he exact is? Exact situation. He was in the NFC Championship. I was in the AFC Championship. We lost to New England, uh, and I thought that was it. I mean, I was ready to walk away. Uh, you know, my teammates convinced me to come back uh, for another year. So he's on the – he's wavering. He just needs – he just needs his teammates and, and coaches to, you know, hey, listen, we got a great football team. You saw how far we came. We got a chance to, to go another step forward, uh, and we can do it. And so I, I think – if they're if they're kind of reaching out to him, not letting him get away because once he gets removed yeah, from it, yeah. it's gonna be hard to pull him back in. It's amazing that season he had. Amazing. And to have that and then say, all right, I'm done. I'm done. It's like, no, you 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 got a great team that you're playing with. A lot of young guys that are developing, getting better. They need a couple more pieces on defense, uh, you know, to be able to rush the passer and get after the quarterback. Other than that, they they got a really good chance. Yeah. You know. Well, yeah, you're in Atlanta, right? Yeah, I live in Atlanta now. Yeah, yeah so I see them. I see that team uh, quite a bit. Uh, who are you uh, who are you representing today? <laughs> I'm working with Avi Q. I'm uh, I have an allergic reaction to shellfish, so. Oh, so you're in the wrong city. I'm dude. in the wrong city, and so because well, you do of that, need that. I do need it exactly, and so because of that. Uh, I'm working with IVQ. It's the first and only compact uh, epinephrine auto injector uh, that actually talks you through uh, the injection process. So it actually literally talks you through it, tells you where to, to kind of, you know, uh, have you had to use yourself? Have you ever had to use one of those? Before? I have not had to use one yet, but the key is I don't want to have to use yeah. it, but <laughs> I want to have it with me in case I need to use well, it. Well, what, I mean? what if we just had some shellfish here? How long would it take before you'd need it? Uh, it wouldn't take that long. It would. Well, it just depends on if I if I if I smell it, then you know it gets bad. But if I eat it, that's when it goes real bad. Would be good like TV if you did it. I mean, <laughs> no, it would not. I mean, why don't you? Yeah, but product good. testing. How would that be good? TV? It'd be good for me. No, it let, wouldn't. let's see people watch you. Polly, get the tank of lobsters. Come on, bring them in here. But, but hold on a second. If, if, <laughs> if, 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 I'm wait kidding. Wait a second. If you on the show, I'm they kidding. said, I draw better's died on your show. That's not like. But that's good TV. That's not a no. That wouldn't be a feather in your cap. Well, why? I mean, you killed Jerome And then you Bettis. get into the whole, I killed Jerome Yeah, you Bettis. killed Jerome Bettis. I mean, would I go to are you jail? proud of that? Well, no. You probably would well, if I, you I, intentionally. I crushed your ego. I killed your ego. I killed oh you. God. I killed your no, you ego in a race. No, you did it's the not. Worst, it's the worst thing that ever happened to you. No question. You know what? I, I, initially, I, I laughed about having footage. I would have loved to have the footage. To, to show how much of a head start there is that footage, you got. but you got a head start, man. Oh, you got man. half a field head start, dude. You're 30 years younger than me. I smoke. I always a smoke show. Unbelievable! I can't believe you on grass with gym shoes on. Not like I could dig in. Now I'm. A, I didn't get to dig in either. I'm a mutter. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah so you are. So you understand that now? I mean, I need some traction. My, I, I don't just get to get to moving. You know. What I saying? was Usain Patrick that day, man. I was. I just put on a show. All I know is, now, do you goodness. trust Tony Dungy's word? 
Do you think Tony Dungy would lie? He's lied before. Wow. Wow. You don't think Tony Dungy has ever lied? Wow. He's never lied. And I'm shocked by that. Jerome. He's never lied. Well, I, uh, that could cost you a Hall of Fame right there. Dealing with all the players that he's had to deal with, he's told a small fib. He did not fib that day. Are he did not me? fib. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Dude, he, you came in with a made, fake knee surgery he, this year. Oh, my God. He started limping. As soon surgery. as he saw me, he's out there shooting hoops. He saw me start limping, and I go, what happened? He goes, oh, knee surgery. I got to show you the holes? Are you serious? Take down your pants. Let me see your <laughs> knee surgery. Either that or you're lying. Really? Yeah. Unbelievable. I I'm crushed not taking you. my pants I crushed your spirit. <laughs> no, you did not. You, you know what? I'm happy for you. I hope you get in the Hall of Fame because I think you need a little pick-me-up. Wow. This is, you know, the, the, the problem is because you, you're you're not athletically inclined. Oh, get out This here. is kind of your, oh, okay. you know, this is your trophy. It doesn't your, matter. It doesn't matter. Trophy. It doesn't matter. But we don't, we, nobody can see it. See, that's the problem. You know, good thing you're on radio because nobody can see it. No, it's on TV, dude. No, it's you not You see where those TV. cameras are nobody right there? Nobody saw it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're on TV now. Yeah. You know, yeah. I don't know what they were thinking. Yeah. But, wow, wow, that's a shot. You got a, you got a face for radio. Do you <laughs> Do you want me to present you at the Hall of Fame? No, absolutely Just not. ask me now. No. Like, do it in a polite way, and no. I'll say yes. Because the thing is, who wants to get hammered going into the Hall of Fame? That's who wants that. You know, You're right. No. I'd make fun of you. Exactly. That's not fair to you. No, that's not fair to you. one moment. It's good where, to see. Where, you know what I mean? It's Size is not the issue. <laughs> I would not make fun of you. Exactly. It's good to see you. Thank you. It's good thank, to see you. Thank you, boss. He's Jerome Battis, uh, hopefully getting in the Hall of Fame this weekend. And and I, I have to say, uh, I'd be remiss if I didn't. I got to give you the website, avq.com. For anybody who's who's at, at risk of anaphylaxis, auvi-q.com. All right, now get out of here. <laughs> Put on your fake limp again and, uh, and get out of here. I, no, I'm better now. I'm better. I, I'm sure you are.